If you need to describe Wings in Tears of the Kingdom, try the word underwhelming. Within a single week of Tears of the Kingdom's release, they were immediately made null by the invention of flying machines, like the Goblin Glider and the Hover Bike. And things have only gotten worse over time, as new innovations keep being discovered, which make Wings look less and less efficient as a mode of travel. But why does it need to be this way? Oh, right. <laughs> Wings only last a paltry 75 seconds before disappearing. That's barely enough time to get from one end of the Great Sky Islands to the other. Meanwhile, fans last 30 minutes, which is so much time that you probably never even notice that they are able to despawn. Wings need an upgrade. So, let's talk about that. Several methods have been discovered since the game released, which can extend your wing time. Some of them are practical, others not so much. I believe the most interesting method so far is also the one that was discovered two weeks ago by a Redditor known as Janeway for President. They discovered that if you attach this mask to your wings, then the flight time on your wings will increase by 30 seconds. Unfortunately, however, this was not true. <laughs> Because it's not a 30 second increase, it's a 45 second increase. 45 seconds is incredible because it is a 60% increase in how long it takes for them to despawn. But I don't think it's quite the upgrade many people have been looking for. Especially since this mask is a part of a quest and it is only found in one part of the game. After you finish the quest connected to the mask, you can't get another one. That means the only way to keep the benefits of this mask are by saving it with auto build. Also, quick editor's note, I talked with Janaway and we discovered that the mask has three separate versions, which are each used for different cutscenes and parts of the quest. Two of them, which spawn while you're in the depths, do not give you the time bonus. Only the overworld version does. So if you want to save this mask with auto build to get that time bonus, then make sure you use the overworld version, not the depth version of the mask. Of course, that still doesn't help anybody who's already completed this quest, because once the quest is complete, you can't get the mask back. So that's a pretty big hurdle to actually utilizing this technique. There are investigations underway to determine if any other items have the same effect, but so far the results are inconclusive. Green stones seem to have no effect, and I personally did some tests on Bargainer statue eyes, and the decay rate was still 75 seconds. So, given the fact that most players don't have access to this mask, let's try a different method. One loophole which hasn't been explored to its fullest is using wings backwards. When you fly backwards, the wings won't decay, meaning that they can be used indefinitely. However, for most designs, this just ends up being an infuriating mess. Wings don't like going backwards. It's maddening. There is some potential here though. You just gotta be clever with it. Like with this design that I came up with. Otherwise, if you wanna use a wing backwards, you'll need to generate a lot of power in order to keep the wing from going forwards. Or stop it from going backwards, but it's going forwards, so it's forwards backwards. You know what I'm trying to say. Unfortunately, the same does not apply to upside down wings. You can easily test this by attaching a single upside down wing to a right side up wing. Both will decay at generally the same time. There are technically a few versions of the wing item which last much longer than 75 seconds. These can be found in shrines, at the Eventide minigame, and on Death Mountain during the Moragia mini boss fight. It's unknown exactly how long these wings last, although it seems to be a very long time, because I was able to fly for eight minutes without any of these wings crashing. Of course, the trade-off to this is that these wings are each limited to a single area. For example, if you try and escape the Moragia boss fight, then you'll be met with this message from Yonobo telling you to turn back. And with shrines, well, th th that one's self-explanatory. There are currently no known ways of trying to bring these wings outside of their respective areas. Looks like it's another dead end. Link, I'm sorry, but that is a battery. No, no they don't. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow, nice going, stupid. I think that lasted a whole zero seconds longer than usual. And that'll teach you what happens when you believe everything you hear on the internet. I, uh... Oh, okay, you know, I hadn't thought about that. You make a good point. Now I am the master. Okay, who the heck is teaching you all these Star Wars references? <laughs> Although this isn't the intended purpose of wings, you can use them as a chassis for your boat. This comes with the added benefit that your wings will last forever, as long as they stay mostly submerged in the water. And I mean it when I say mostly. The only part that can come out of the water are the very tips of the wings. As soon as any other part of the wing boat comes out of the water for air, it'll start decaying again. This is also handy because you could use water as a launching off pad for your boat. Or, I'm uh, sorry, wings. Seemingly, I am the very first person to document this trick, although I don't think it's particularly helpful since a wooden platform is just as easy to use and it'll never despawn. So, cool party trick, but that's probably it. An honorable mention needs to go to the chaining method, where you spawn one wing, ride it for a while, and then spawn a second one, ride that for a while, and then do that ad infinum for however long you want to. It's not particularly helpful for this video because we're trying to find a way of making a singular wing last longer, but if you are just intending on gliding gracefully down towards the ground for a long period of time, then I, I guess this is helpful to you. So, there you go. Before we can move on to the last method, we have to ask one simple question. What causes wings to decay? The easy answer to this question is moving forwards. But this is not entirely true. As it turns out, the real culprit is lift. In airplane terminology, lift is the force that holds the airplane in the air. Without it, an airplane would fall down. Similarly, the wing item in Tears of the Kingdom has lift. It generates its own lift, in fact. That is why it is possible for it to glide through the air even when there are no fans attached to it. Lift keeps things in the air. But what the Hyrule Engineering community discovered is that if you create your own lift on a set of wings in Tears of the Kingdom, the wings will no longer despawn. This discovery meant one thing. Wings don't decay by moving forwards, they decay by expending lift. But by attaching your fans in a very specific configuration, you can prevent the wings from expending that lift. This can be done by using many fans on the bottom or by using super powerful fans. With these builds, it's possible to make a set of wings that lasts a theoretically infinite time span, which makes this, number one, the most practical build for players who have already completed the game and can't get their hands on that mask from earlier. And number two, it means that it is the best long-term solution for flight when you want to use the wing item. If you want to build one version of these non-decaying wings, you can follow what Link is doing in the video right now. This is the simplest version that I could find, which was designed originally by Lunasequius. But anyways, there you go. There are your theoretically infinite wings. And you will notice I do keep using the word theoretically, because if you run out of batteries and start gliding, then of course the lift timer will start decaying again. And there will also be a slight amount of decay if you go at a very sharp turn. Now, undoubtedly, some of you are thinking to yourselves, hey, wait a minute, if the wings aren't generating any lift, then why bother using wings when you could just use a wooden plank instead? And the answer is this, wings have incredible maneuverability, which is super handy for getting around, and, you know, also, they're wings, so they look cool. So is it perfect? No, but it's better. And I think that's ultimately the moral of today's story. Wings are a cool item with severe limitations, but we, as a community, have learned how to make the most of those limitations and learned how to have fun with it. And in time, I'm sure we'll make even more discoveries, which will help us in our quest to find the perfect pair of wings. Once again, special thanks to the Hyrule Engineering Discord server for helping research this video. Especially, I would like to thank Gender Equal Minoru, Lord Robert, Luna Sequius, Janeway for President, and Kruk underscore me. Hopefully, some of you, and by you I mean the viewers, will be able to check out the after show after this video is released, which is always available to channel members. And for anybody who doesn't know, we are a members-supported channel now, so every single dollar helps. Until I see you next time, have fun storming the castle.